You know, I did hear that there's a lot of crime at the Universal City Walk, or I might be making that up. No, I've heard that. It's a, that's what's really sad about about it, like, like the idea that gang activity happens at these shitty. Uh. Like I always thought, I always thought gangs had like secret places they could yeah, go, yeah, like, like pool like halls abandoned. or something. Yeah, yeah. but they, no, they have to go to like ice cream shops, right? <laughs> like like m- like just b- bad movie yeah. theaters. Although I guess if I imagine being in a gang, and this is probably not at all what it, I'm sure that I'm wrong about what it's like to be in a gang. I'm, uh, the one thing I know for sure <laughs> is that I'm wrong. But um, I feel like if I wanted to, <laughs> it's probably really offensive. If I wanted to, you know, like make trouble, right? <laughs> <laughs> Which is how people like me see gang. <laughs> so it must be how they see themselves. No, but I mean, if I wanted to, you know, fuck shit up, I might go to Universal City Walk. Well, I think what happens is that they're taking the day off from being a gang. Oh, they're just. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why fights happen because then they run into another gang and they're like, "You're you come to Knott's Berry Farm?" <laughs> Vato? <laughs> I, I, I just, it's a guilty pleasure for me and my essays. I, like, we're, we're human beings. If you prick us, do we not bleed? Like, uh, we just, we like cotton candy. Now I have to shoot you. You saw me at Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> and you're in a different gang. This is not, uh, yeah. you know, I would, and this is why we're not in gangs. We, I think we would go, you come to Knott's Berry Farm. All right, let's just hang out together. <laughs> But they no, they're like there's something more pressing about gang business for them. Yeah. Well, the second somebody made any threatening gesture toward me, I'd be like, I, I quit the gang. Like, I'm sorry that yeah, I'm yeah. in the wrong <laughs> gang. Like, I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I saw. I, you're like, a, you, you'd be the guy who like w- wears like all the like <laughs> all the like, color. They, they tell you like you need a red bandana or a red thing uh, yeah. on your shoe. You're like all of the above. You'd yeah. be like this red guy. <laughs> <laughs> like you'd look like a you'd look like a, a like a yeah. like a some shitty improv troupe uh, uh, like uh, off the strip. Las Vegas, yeah. like trying to bite on Blue Man Group shit, like you've done some like kind of g- color gimmick, and then and then yeah, somebody would go, "Hey man, are you? Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up," and then you'd go to your gang leader and yeah. go, "Something happened Sorry, today." Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Or I'd be. I, I was at the circus once, and I saw this guy who. It, it was a woman actually. She did this amazing trick that I still don't. It was explained to me, and I still don't understand it. That's my favorite stuff with the magic. When even though you know it's a trick and it's not what you look, it looks like you still are like I physically do not understand how that's possible. But this woman had a hula hoop, and she just passed it over herself, and she was wearing different clothes. That's not gang. Well, <laughs> related. <laughs> they wear they wear they wear different colors. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking that's probably what I would do. Oh, oh, if you, I would, were, you would you would yeah, do that? I just you, pass a hula hoop over just, myself. You would just, just zelig to whatever whatever gang. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would also yeah. like I would. Here's here's a couple other things I would do in a war. I would definitely because I do it all the time in my dreams when I'm accidentally in a war in my dreams. I would play dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep. And I'm surprised there's not more stories about that. Yeah. I, ta- I actually talked to a veteran uh, that was in the Korean War, and I don't, I, and I don't know how he, it, it, he was. He was there as part of a, like a vet conference or something. I ran into him at a hotel. This is years ago, but I, you know, I was like, man, I, 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 my, my family's riddled with vets, and I just, I have all this guilt about being a fucking doughy piece of shit, <laughs> g- g- fucking le- their legacy. <laughs> so I like, like I, I bayoneted a million people for you while like a voiceover played, and they, you know, well, and they the, fought the, for your for your freedom. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, then I'll be in comedy sports. Yeah. Well, that's what they fought for. I know, that's what they fought for. That's why I hate myself. Like, I should at least open a Dippin' Dots or something. <laughs> something that feels, I don't know, like something. I don't know, like like, like a bayonet store. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, 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 this one's for you, Grandpa. Yeah, I'm hyper aware of the decline of my generation so <laughs> as I, yeah. I think, I mean, they shouldn't have shaken all those canes. It got, it got, it got to me. Uh, the... Uh, the the he said he told me a story he's a vet and he can uh-huh. say this you know like but he he was like telling the story about how he he played dead oh he did and he, he did. like it was, a, it, was a, it was a terrible situation all his friends were dying and and he he just said he just thought like a child like i'll just lay still yeah. and he did and he did it for a really long time and he says uh, you know, war stories are sometimes they're they're the only truth that we have, and sometimes they're very apocryphal. But uh, uh, he says that the at a certain point during him playing dead, a that one of an enemy soldier who took their territory because they, they all got killed or in his case played dead, like <laughs> at a certain point uh, they mounted a, you know, they rested a tripod uh, on his chest no. to gun for oh a machine gun. God. 
and he oh, just laid man. there at, and they <laughs> used his body. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why you would make that story up. I do, I, yeah, that's out. true. I mean, like you, you would if you were like 10 and you had never been in a war. You'd be like, what if? And then what if? <laughs> but he had the little hat and the medals and, and he was wow. bummed out about it. Yeah, and it was yeah, like, so it felt like real, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't like, high five, right? And was like, he, he was like, yeah, that's, there's a story for you. And I was like, that makes me feel better. Like, I, I, yeah, I feel yeah, yeah. a lot like I would definitely let my country down. Well, I feel uh, like outside of movies probably for the most part a single soldier isn't isn't changing the tide of a battle right you're mostly getting killed you know that's stinking thinking <laughs> oh well yeah <laughs> uh, no that's the terrifying thing saving private ryan and the yeah, fucking yeah. opens up and it's just like those gates come down and it's just a brrr, 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 yeah. and they're like wow that's yeah that's probably a tenth of how chaotic boy yeah and i feel nervous controlling harmontown <laughs> yeah <laughs> how will we get through this <laughs> <laughs> So, why, why were we on that? So part of your job is to keep me off uh, a tangent. Oh, yeah. Like well, we were talking really about Universal tight uh, City Walk. Right. And looking for the, the well, the, the tumult in your life. Right. Uh, and gangs. 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 But I feel gangs oh, came gangs. off okay, of yeah. Universal City Walk. Oh, gangs. Okay, yeah. Be a bad gang. Yeah. 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 The guy would say, yeah, okay, we're done yeah. with that. Yeah. But, yeah, I'd be a terrible <laughs> gang. You know, you, that's why they do a really smart thing with gangs, apparently. I saw on the P- P- PBS. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, you know, they, they beat you up uh, going into the gang. They're like, welcome to the gang. We beat you up. Right. So then you're like, okay, I know how that feels. Oh, so you're not afraid so of... So like maybe I'll be a little... You know, maybe I'll get uh, through that first one with the enemy gang. Right, right, like, right. Like, because Ralph beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> and he loves me. Yeah. Do you think they really, like, they really fucking beat you up? I like... bet they fucking go crazy on you. Yeah, for sure. How, yeah. I mean... The... Okay. So the streets are the streets are all they have. I don't think yeah. you get this. No, I. Yeah, I'm like the opposite. I'm like such a. I'm I'm ashamed of how not in a gang I am. I've got. I'm like a. Just a. Just I'm a, like three percent more in a gang than you. I think you might be. Yeah. Just, just yeah. by not showering. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't care if I stink. Yeah. S S A. Yeah. I'm. I am. I am deeply. Uh. I. I. I realized this a while ago that every time I imagine somebody is holding a gun to my head or or a tiger is approaching me or I look into the sky and there's a nuclear bomb falling down, I my first thought is like. Time to check out. Like I'm, I'm out. Like I would rather, you know, flip. If I had a button that says "kill Alex," I would just push it. Right. Because and and then I was like, I feel like that's that's the ultimate cowardice in a way. I mean, I don't mean that suicide is. I mean that that my impulse to avoid terror is a fault. You know, like yeah. not that I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not making a case for wrestling a tiger. <laughs> but maybe your cowardice in the face of these overwhelming things is like you saying, I don't want to be in that situation yeah. because the scariest thing in the world is letting myself or my fellow man down. So I would rather, like you said, you'd rather hit a button and explode <laughs> <laughs> if a crocodile got too close. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you don't want to go out going, get this crocodile off of me! So yeah. maybe you are like manlier in a sense. That's a nice like, way of Or at least about less it. crocodilian. Well, because I think, you know, and I think, I think it's like, uh, I think it's as, I like with dreams, I think that these ridiculous scenarios that occasionally pop into my head are like metaphors for regular life and that like I'm afraid of hardship. 